All right, ready to dive into some San Diego ballot measures. Always. We're using CaliforniaChoices.org as our guide today. Unbiased, in-depth, the good stuff. Love that site. Before we get too far, hey, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future deep dives. Definitely do that. Okay, so we've got a lot to cover. Measures C, D, and E for San Diego itself. Right. Plus some stuff happening in Carlsbad, Escondido, and even Oceanside. It's going to be a busy election. Let's start right here in San Diego, Measure C. This one's about how we elect our school board, right? Yeah, so right now it's a two-round system, primary, then maybe a runoff if nobody gets a majority. A uh hot -huh, classic system. But Measure C wants to make it just one election. Most votes wins, period. So simpler, I guess, but what are the arguments? Well, supporters say the two-round system is expensive. Sure, makes sense. And it can lead to lower voter turnout for that final election. Yeah. I can see that. Mm. But does that mean it's more democratic if someone wins without a majority? That's the opposition's big argument. They say a single election might not truly reflect what the people want, even if it's cheaper and easier. So it's a trade-off. Efficiency versus making sure everyone's voice is really heard. Exactly. It's something to think about. Right. So Measure D. This one's ethics in city government. Always a sensitive topic. Right. This is about the ethics commission. You know, they're like the watchdogs, making sure everything's above board. Especially with things like campaign money, conflicts of interest, that kind of thing. Yeah, all that. So Measure D wants to make them more independent. More independent how? Like less influence from other parts of city government. Hmm. I bet some people love that idea and others not so much. You got it. Supporters say it'll make the commission more effective, harder to pressure them, lead to a more ethical government overall. And opponents. What's their take? They worry about accountability. Less influence from the city could mean they're less accountable to the public, too. So it's about finding the right balance. Powerful enough to do their job, but still answerable to the people. Exactly. Tricky stuff. Okay, on to Measure E. This one's about taxes, right? Yep. A sales tax increase for the city of San Diego. How much are we talking? Half a cent. <laughs> so, not huge, but it adds up. What's it supposed to fund? Mostly infrastructure, road repairs, public transit, that kind of thing. Sounds familiar. Lots of cities struggling with that stuff. Yeah, and this measure would also put some money towards affordable housing. Trying to tackle some of the big issues facing the city then. Definitely. But of course, anytime you talk taxes, you're going to have different opinions. Sure, who likes paying more taxes? Right? Well, the supporters say this is crucial investment. You know, fix the roads, improve transit, it all makes the city better. And their argument is spreading the cost across everyone tourists included, is better than just hitting up property owners. Right. But then the opponents are like, hey, any tax increase is a burden, especially for people who are already struggling. Especially when everything's so expensive these days. Exactly. And they're also going to want to know, is the money really going to be used well? That's always a concern with these things. Fair enough. So that's the San Diego city measures. Now let's head up the coast a bit. Carlsbad has measure B on their ballot. Right. And this one's about... Well, it's about how much the city can spend each year. They have a limit. Like a cap on their budget? Why is that? Well, they have this thing called Proposition H. It's from, like, the 70s, and it sets this limit based on how many people live there, inflation, all that. Wow. Things have probably changed a bit since the 70s. Yeah, so Measure B wants to update it. Basically, replace that old formula with a fixed dollar amount, $3.09 million. So more predictable, maybe. That's the idea. But of course, whether that's good or bad depends on how you feel about government spending. Right. Some people like spend, 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 and others are penny pinch every dollar. Exactly. So the supporters are like, hey, that old formula doesn't work anymore. The city's grown. We need to be able to provide services. Makes sense. The city can't run in a 1970s budget forever. Right. But the other side is worried about, you know, taking the limit off could lead to way more spending down the road. And probably higher taxes to pay for it all. Exactly. So it's, again, this balance. Does the city need more flexibility or is it better to have that tight control on spending? Tough choices for Carlsbad voters. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Escondido and their Measure I. This is infrastructure, right? Yep. They're proposing a sales tax, but specifically for infrastructure projects. Like what kind of projects? Oh, they actually list them out. Street repairs, park improvements, upgrading public safety buildings, that kind of stuff. So being very transparent about where the money's going. Yeah, that seems to be a big part of their pitch. They're saying, hey, this money stays right here in Escondido fixing our problems. I can see that appealing to people, especially if you can actually see the improvements in your neighborhood. Right. But of course, there's always opposition to taxes. Sure. 
Nobody wants to pay more, even if it's for a good cause. So some people are going to be worried about that extra cost, especially with the economy the way it is. And some might also question if these are the right projects to focus on, if they're worth the money. Always those questions. So as Candido voters, I got to decide, are these improvements worth a little extra sales tax? Pretty much. And last but not least, down south to Oceanside, they've got Measure X on their ballot. And this one's about, let me guess, another tax. You got it. But it's a little different. They already have this half cent sales tax. Measure X is about extending it. So it's not a new tax. It's just keeping the old one going. Exactly. This tax has been paying for a lot of stuff. Police fire, lifeguards, street repairs, senior programs, all sorts of things. So essential services, things people rely on every day. Right, and the argument for extending it is basically, if we let this tax expire, we're going to have to make cuts. And nobody wants that. You like your police and firefighters? Then vote yes. Basically. They're also going to point out that it's not a new burden. It's just continuing what's already there. But of course, the other side is going to say, well, maybe it's time to look for other ways to pay for this stuff. We need to be more efficient, find new revenue streams, blah, blah, blah. That's the gist of it. So Oceanside voters have to decide, has this tax been worth it? Do we want to keep it going? So there we go. The San Diego County ballot measures. We've got elections, yeah. ethics, infrastructure, taxes. A little something for everyone. And this is just the overview. We'll get deeper into each measure as we go along. Should be interesting. It is. Lots to think about for voters this year. And remember, this is just us skimming the surface. We've given you the basics, but you got to do your own research before you vote. Always good advice. CaliforniaChoices.org is a great place to start. Yeah, they have full analysis of each measure, arguments for and against, even financial impact statements. They even track who's endorsing each measure, you know, like which organizations support it. Super helpful to see all that in one place. It's like a cheat sheet for the election. Yeah. Speaking of helpful things, uh, have we mentioned you should subscribe to this show? Hit that button. You'll get all our deep dives, not just election stuff. We cover all sorts of interesting topics. We'll help you make sense of the world one deep dive at a time. That's our motto. So we've looked at these measures city by city, but I'm wondering, are there any like big themes, trends you're seeing across all of them? Hmm. Good question. You know, one thing that stands out is this tension between providing services and keeping taxes low. Yeah, that's classic local politics. It comes up in a lot of these measures, like the sales tax proposals for San Diego and Escondido. Right. And even in Carlsbad with Measure B, where it's all about, like, how much can the city even spend? It's that constant battle, right? Yeah. People want good roads and safe neighborhoods and nice parks, but they don't want their taxes to go up. Especially not with everything else costing so much these days. It's tough. So voters have to decide what's more important, keeping taxes down, even if it means maybe some services get cut, or are we willing to pay a little more to make sure things are taken care of? It's a balancing act. No easy answers. That's why it's so important to be informed. Yeah. You got to know what the trade-offs are. Absolutely. Another trend I'm seeing is this push for more transparency in government. Oh, I see that too. Like Measure D in San Diego, making the Ethics Commission more independent. Right, right. And then in Escondido, how Measure I is super specific about which projects the tax money would go to. It's like, here's exactly how we're going to spend your money. No secrets. Exactly. It seems like voters are really demanding that. They want to know where their money's going, how decisions are being made. And they want to know that the people in charge are, you know, actually ethical. For sure. It's not just about the dollars and cents. It's about trust. Like, people are saying, we're watching you, government. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Keeps everyone on their toes. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. This connects to a bigger national conversation about trust in government. Hmm, that's true. It's not just a local thing. People everywhere are kind of fed up with the status quo. And it's showing up even in these local elections. Exactly. Which is actually kind of exciting, you know? Yeah. It means people are engaged, they care about what's happening in their communities. It's a reminder that even though these local races don't get as much attention as the big national stuff, right? they actually have a huge impact on our lives. Oh, absolutely. I mean, think about it. These measures are going to affect everything from how our kids get to school, yeah. to whether we have potholes in our roads, Ugh. to whether our parks are safe and clean. It's all connected. All about quality of life, right? Yeah. And that's shaped by the decisions we make as a community. Exactly. And it all starts with being informed, knowing what the issues are, and then using your voice to make a difference. That's what we're all about here, giving you the info, helping you make sense of it all. Exactly. So as we wrap up this look at the San Diego County ballot measures, yeah. 
We want to leave you with a thought. We've talked about the details, the pros and cons, all that. Right. But in the end, the decision is yours. You, the voter. That's the beauty of democracy. And it's not a decision to take lightly. These measures are going to affect our communities for years to come. So By responsibility. We want to ask you a question. Thinking about all this, what questions would you ask your local representatives? What would you need to know to feel good about your vote? Don't be afraid to reach out. Ask those tough questions. Your voice matters. Be an informed citizen. Don't just let these things happen. Get involved. Right. Figure out what's important to you, what you want for your community. And then vote accordingly. And remember, CaliforniaChoices.org, they've got all the info you need. They make it so easy to get informed. Seriously, go check them out. All right, that's our deep dive on the San Diego ballot measures. Hope you learned something. And more importantly, we hope you feel ready to vote. Your vote is your voice. Make it count. Absolutely. If you're enjoying these podcasts, make sure to subscribe. Thanks once again, and we'll see you soon.